They were ranked number one for 10 weeks. It was a season of destiny until last week for the Buckeyes, when expectations became empty dreams. Heroes became human, and a national championship slipped from their grasp. But now with power, poise, and purpose, they seek redemption as they face a KG coach and his home field Hawkeyes. Possibly a time for Buckeye fans to go on the road and put the memory behind them of what happened against Michigan State a week ago. It's now seventh ranked Ohio State. They take the field against the Iowa Hawkeyes at Kinnick Stadium. Stoltz gets set to kick as Ohio State won the toss and deferred. Back at the goal line, Khalil Hill, a yard deep. And Hill will bring it out, and he found himself an opening across the 20. Still dragging people with him out to the 33-yard line. Let's take a look at the Chili's starting lineup. The biggins up front, Derrick Rose, makes his 33rd straight start at center. He's the leader with Reichel, Sobieski, Deal, and Rodgers. Khalil Hill, you just saw him. He's also their leading receiver with Yamini and Flemister as the tight end. And making his second start of the year and only the third of his career, Scott Mullen at quarterback, Tyne and Betts round out the Iowa backfield. So good starting position for the Hawkeyes. First down from their own 33-yard line. And the inside trap, and that's going nowhere as Liddell Betts leads an all-sophomore front four, and he leads the club in sacks as well with Bailey Pickett and Brown. Jerry Radzinski, one of the co-captains, the leader of the defense with those two talented linebackers that join him in Katz and Moyer and Diggs. Damon Moore, the leading tackler against Michigan State, and he had an interception for a touchdown with Barry Winfield and Plummer rounding out the Ohio State secondary, a very strong Ohio State secondary. Second down and 10. Katz and Moyer shows blitz. And on the keeper, Mullins got a first down. And he's got the first down with that strong run to the 46-yard line. Here's an option the other way. And this time stood up and dropped for a loss. Second down and 11. And we'll see Mullen for the first time throw. He wanted to throw a swing pass. Now he pulls it down. And he'll get across the 45 and out to the 47-yard line. Third down and nine. Long count. And here comes a blitz on Mullen. He's going to try to roll away from the pressure. Buys himself a little time. And now he pulls it down again. And that time the coverage is too good, apparently. To punt David Boston back deep, and he is dangerous anytime he touches it. Nice punt. Boston camps under it at the 10. And here he goes. Boston across the 30. The punter to beat. Had the angle on him, knocked him out of bounds. Talk about great. How about the weather in Iowa City here in November? 61 degrees, beautiful blue skies. Couldn't be better. Balmy, Iowa City. That's Boston in motion across the field. Wiley. The tailback got about four. Tyson Walter, the Murphys, and Burris round out the front five. John Lumpkin, the tight end, had a long touchdown catch in the loss to Michigan State last week, joining D. Miller and David Boston, the best receiving duo in the Big Ten. Matt Keller's a man that leads the way for Wiley, the number two rusher in the Big Ten, and Joe Germain, obviously, is the quarterback. Second down and seven. And to give to Wiley again off the left side, and he's got a first down in that's led by Jared DeVries. He's been one of the best they've ever had in this city. Kramer, Klein, Heron, and Lofton round out the 52. The linebacker, Matt Hughes, missed the Purdue game a couple of weeks ago. Healthy now after the extra week. Campman joins him in the linebacking core. Eric Thigpen is the heart and soul of their secondary with Slattery Bowen and Tarek Holman. The seventh-ranked team in the nation with the knowledge now that Michigan has beaten Wisconsin today. Here's Wiley again. They're going to work that left side. Injury. Here's Jermaine's first pass of the ball game. And high, and off the fingertip. Big look of a nervous football team towards the end of that game. Last week, only two for 15 against Michigan State on third down. And here's Jermaine, and he's got this one to Boston. Knocked out of bounds. Gates the first down. It's holding against Ohio State. And instead of a first down down at the 24-yard line, it's going to be way back out near midfield. Third, 24. Jermaine, trouble, got away from it. And now throws deep, and it's incomplete. I think they're just going to mark 15 yards off is yep, what they're going to do. It's going to be pass interference. And not much eight-man fronts. That means the Buckeyes should be able to run the ball. And they're going to try to run it here with a fullback Keller. Brings up second down and four as he got six. 
Wiley, cut back, and he's got the first down. Coupled with five turnovers is going to get you beat. And there's what we were talking about, the Michigan win by 17 over the Badgers, and that sets up the big showdown next week. But again, you'll see on ABC between Ohio State and Michigan, as always a big game, but... See if he puts one up here. Eighth play of the drive, Jermaine. That one tipped at the line. I think DeVries got a hand on it. And he'll pin his ears back here as Jermaine, you would expect to throw on third and 11. And here it comes. The out. Up by D.J. Johnson. He's got a convoy and a sideline. D.J. Johnson inside the 30. Still on his feet. Cuts back. He's on the yard line. On the keeper, Mullen, got a blocker in front, touchdown! Mullen, 11 yards out behind his fullback in Iowa, in the end zone for the first time today. Zach Roberts, point after, is up and good, and the Hawkeyes with the interception by Johnson one play later turn it into seven and this is exactly what Iowa needed a turnover and a big play now we're ready to go as Baker's got a holder out there and the kicks a good one it'll go in the end zone it'll be a touchback I think they've turned themselves into a passing team, but they need patience and run the ball against this front of Iowa. Here's a guy that gives them a spark. Joe Montgomery is into the secondary. If he gets a block, he's gone. Boston got an elbow in. Down the sideline goes Montgomery. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Ohio State. 80 yards for Joe Montgomery in for one play in relief of Michael Wiley. Does Joe Montgomery love those Hawkeye uniforms or what? This is an ABC News special report. Mullen threw a great pass on third and nine, but it wasn't handled by Yamini in that game. Iowa only uses one gunner, and they did not put much pressure on Boston last time. He looks up in that sun and has to just let it go. I think he lost it up there. He tried to shield his eyes, lets it bounce, and it rolls dead at the 34-yard line. Four games, so check the local listings for the game and time in your area or what you can pick up on pay-per-view. Jermaine running for his life. Joe got back across the line of scrimmage. So far, DeVries has been winning. Iowa showing blitz here on a second and eight. A handoff to Wiley inside, and that's going nowhere. They're back in the hunt for the Roses. Third down and nine. Whoa. Man, DeVries comes blowing in there. Jermaine got away and throws a first down toss to Wiley, and Wiley's all the way to the 46-yard line. To it. I don't think they can handle him one-on-one. -on -one. Montgomery back in there, and Joe gets a call again. Um, Joe Montgomery's going to have 100 yards in the first quarter, the way things are going. With a yard to go, I don't know if he got it. At the 36-yard line of Iowa, straight ahead, Jermaine didn't need much, didn't get much. Two Rose Bowls ago. Talk about toughness. Remember that bleeding chin he had in that game? He's back to throw. His receiver fell down, and it's intercepted. Tarek Holman. David Boston slipped. And shouldn't you know, go in the stats. Should be an error, shouldn't it? <laughs> First down, Iowa. And Betts. Some fancy footwork, and he's out to the 30-yard line. Good. Tavian Banks, there's some big spikes to fill, but he's doing a good job as a freshman. Here he comes again on a little inside trap. Second down and eight for Iowa. Tied right now with the seventh-ranked team in the country, courtesy of a couple of interceptions that have helped their cause. Betts. That win's going to win it from Texas a and That's still on the uh, Lombardi list as well. Here's the quick slant and a first down toss out to the 46-yard line. Bashir Yamini, including the still wagons, the Hicks, and all the rest you just saw listed. Here's a late toss on the pitch to Betts. Didn't pay off much. Second down and nine. Oh, that's that's catching one. Catch <laughs> but overall, you're right. He's thinking about a blitz right here. Here they come. Mullen stands in and goes deep, but it's way over the head of his intended receiver. He Turn the punt here. Jason Baker with the kick, not a good one at all. So he's going to bounce in front of Boston and hang a right. <laughs> and it'll roll dead as it's down by Iowa. Joe Montgomery back in at the tailback spot behind Keller, and he'll get the carry. 
And Joe's got a wide open field again. I told you he'd have 100 yards in the end of the first quarter. I think he might have it right there. Harris said, okay, I'll take you there. Play fake this time. Jermaine wants a home run ball. Going deep. He's got Boston out there, and he got him inside the 10. Touchdown. That's what the running game will do for you. Set up the play action, and it's 54 yards. Jermaine to Boston. He beat D.J. Johnson. Over 1,000 receiving for Boston at his 10th touchdown catch of the year. And the third player at Ohio State, Terry Glenn and Chris Carter, preceded him in that 1,000-yard group. That's some pretty high cotton right there. And want to stop the big play. That sounds easy, but it's tough to stop both of them. And they haven't stopped either so far. Here's the kick. Taken a yard deep, and Khalil Hill will take a knee. That's the end of one at Kinnick Stadium. The Hawkeyes try to stay with 7th-ranked Ohio State. They trail by a touchdown. Oh, this play yesterday. Throw back to the quarterback. They go out to Hill. And he's out to the 28-yard line. They love Hayden Fry, even having his worst season right now with only three wins coming into this. Everybody I talked to since we've been here the last three days has been gone a season without at least four wins. Right now trailing by a touchdown. Mullen pulls up, wanted to throw to the right, and now scrambles back the other way. He is in a heap of trouble now. Got rid of it. It's intercepted by Ohio State, and this is going to be a touchdown. Mike Collins, the freshman defensive tackle, picked that one off and scores. Well, they call that a moo bar. Messed up beyond all recognition. I like that. Mike Collins with a dream for a defensive tackle. The extra point is up and good. And just like that, the big fella rumbling in. He's getting some air over there. Only I, I really think it just turned everybody out on that bench. Stoltz to kick high and short. Into the sun. Oh, boy. That Ooh. was could have been fielded. That was a live ball. Penalty marker down as that one will start at the 35-yard line. If you want to take the championship from Evander Holyfield, you better knock him out. Mullen pump pick one way, wanted to throw a screen back the other way, and that's probably just as well. It was Scott Mullins actually was put on a stretcher type of uh, apparatus and then put on the golf cart, and he never did get to his feet. So now taking over is Kyle McCann at the controls on a second and ten. His first play is a pass, and he's got a wide open receiver across the 40. Flemister, the tight end. What the call was. They're calling it clipping. Cam does not have a great arm, and it's limited by an ankle that's not 100%. He can't quite step into his throws. Here's a screen to the wide receiver, and uh, third down and six. Ohio State definitely a good blitz look. Inside corners by the, by the technique by the corners. Here they come. Here's the pass, and it's complete. It's a first down out to the 49-yard line to Khalil Hill. We just got word from the Iowa locker room that Dr. Danielson was right. It's a broken left collarbone. Clavicle, as Gary said, the technical term and he's done for the day in the year and his understudy just got sacked he and now he faces a second down and 19. three wide receiver offense from the 39 yard line quick drop he wanted to throw a slant and now he's in trouble again and down he goes looking very much the powerful unit they were for the majority of the early season and right number one for 10 weeks late blitz and the throw is complete but it's well short of the first down sort of slow coming off the field Oh, great punts. Jason Baker, maybe, last one. Maybe too good. Yep, it yep. is too good. All the way to the end zone. The movie, too. <laughs> a, there's a hint. From the 20, here's Wiley. Michael Wiley got the corner and then lost his footing. And in there right now. Second down and three. And here's a counter to Wiley, hitting the backfield, trying to bounce his way back to the line of scrimmage, and he's not going to get there. Very young, two freshmen, one a true freshman, one a redshirt freshman. Third along for Jermaine. Plenty of time to load up and go complete out to Miller across the 30. These guys Peter match Ward. up. Yeah, There's no doubt about that. Up. Without a doubt, the best duo in the Big Ten. And he's used to these two guys. Second down and eight. Iowa thinking about a blitz from the secondary. Jermaine play fake and fires out to Boston the other way. And Boston's got a first down at midfield. So eight and a half to go in the half and first down from midfield. Play action again. Jermaine deep ball. Miller's out there. He underthrew him. He made the adjustment and then it was almost intercepted. By 21 to 7 here for seventh ranked Ohio State. And number 11, Nebraska. Illegal procedure. Ohio State. 
Yo Jermaine has a look on a second and 15. Straight drop and straight down the middle to his tight end, and he got him with Nuski inside the 35. It says Ohio State and Joe Jermaine, 50% of the day, throwing the ball. Wiley's going to throw an option pass to his Nuski again, and he got him at the 15 yard line. Good pass. Yes, you are. Jermaine going to give to Wiley. And Wiley cut down at about the 12 yard line. He'd be more effective. He's doing a good job. He had 85 yards and a couple of touchdowns against Iowa last year coming off the bench. One wide receiver. One of those tight ends was Nuski. Already has two big catches on this drive. Here's the play fake, and down goes Jermaine, and it's Jared DeVries. Man. And he's made it a very tough field goal for Stoltz. A 38 yard attempt instead of what would have been a chip shot. Stoltz. Missed it. DeVries gets credit for that lack of three points for Ohio State. You could see from the band members that that was going to miss as soon as the ball was kicked. So that's a plus and a boost for the Iowa offense. He'll take over from the 21-yard line and come up throwing out to Hill. And Khalil can get even three points before halftime. Be a huge boost to their confidence. Trailing 21-7. Pump fake. And now running for his life. Is McCann and down the middle and he got Hill. And Hill's across midfield and down to the 43-yard line of Ohio State. Khalil Hill with the interception and the reception. We'll give him both one of each. And here comes Liddell Betts, a soon-to-be great player, it looks like, on this Ohio State defense. Draw play to Betts, trying to weave his way through the traffic, and he maybe picked up a yard. And remember, you want to get as many points before halftime as you can as an Ohio State opponent because they don't give up much in the second half. This could be a pass upcoming, little trickery, man open, Flemister, the tight end down to the 12. Ohio State 12 yard line. Draw play to Betts, and again, the first hit was by Captain Moyer. Last in the Big Ten in the red zone. They've got a golden opportunity here. And here's the fade to the corner. Man's there. Just overshot him a little bit too far. Well, we'll see what we can be expecting on this play. McCann in trouble. Got away from the rush, and now he's got an open field. McCann to the end zone. Touchdown. yards for McCann who looked like he was dead in the water back in the pocket but he got away and scored and that's his second rushing touchdown length of the court and makes the gimme bunny for three and Baker adds the extra point uh, Bromit rather adds the extra point John Cooper looking up there going that was third and ten we should have never given that one up as Joe Brown had the quarterback trapped in the pocket and the injured quarterback Mullen who has a broken collarbone out for the season has one touchdown the other one courtesy of McCann moments ago one of the up men takes this for Ohio State Mikel Brown and he gets a nice return Ohio State's got to be loving it though they're only 50 yards away from taking another two touchdown lead Jermaine comes up throwing down the middle intended for D Miller it's they've thrown five Miller's way today he only has one reception and second down and 10, they take too much time. Joe Germain saw it and had to get out of his protection. Coleman, number two, was going to cut. And here comes the pressure on Germain. Down the middle, complete to the tight end, Lumpkin. But not before Lumpkin got it inside the 40 and a first down. Don't forget, John and Todd are coming up with Valvoline halftime 98. In less than two minutes, the pass incomplete. Second down and 10. Germain. With time, Wiley in and out of his hand, third and ten. Here's a screen pass to Keller, and he couldn't handle it at his own 47-yard line. Kick sails out of bounds. It's a matter of where they spot it. It's going to be at about the 17-yard line. You know, I really got the feeling that I was disappointed that uh, Ohio State lost last week. I think they wanted to play number one. Don't I agree you? with you. Yep. McCann pump fakes. Wanted to go deep, I think, for Hill, and now throws incomplete. Second down and 10. Here's an incompletion and an interference call that's coming up. Ohio State picked that deflection off, but that's going to be interference. It's going to turn into a first down for Iowa. You can see the shadows have covered Kinnick Stadium now on this 
Picture perfect day for football. Not so picture perfect if you're in the pocket taking that heat from Rodney Bailey. Second down at 19. Three wideouts as Casper has joined Yamini and Hill. Quick drop and the slants batted down at the line. Rodney Bailey. Third down and they have the punt team in. Whistles will end this play. Kick, but to bring there your punt no team foul. on, oh, I'll no step. Well, now, wait a minute. Third and 19 at any rate. Back at the 12-yard line. And who knows, you might break a run. That broke one tackle, but nothing else as Betts goes out to the 16-yard line. But nine toward the punter. Nope, now they drop back. And the kick is nice and high, which could be what the doctor ordered. But Boston still has room. He dropped it at the 41, and he's got to <laughs> cover it right there. So capacity crowd at Kinnick Stadium. Jermaine, not great numbers today by any stretch. And he's going to stretch the defense, though. And he's got it out there for Miller, huh. broken up by Holman. Just one reception today on the sixth thrown in his direction. Jermaine, time's running out of the pocket. Somehow got away. And now throws short to Keller, the fullback in the open field. Keller got a block. He's inside the 35. It's first down, Ohio State. For this football team was a high school tailback. He doesn't just block. Delayed blitz coming against Jermaine. He comes up rifling it out to Miller. This time he's got it complete inside the 20 to the 17. Because it keeps the pressure on that defense. And they can't change up any personnel defensively. Jermaine now with time. Wide open in the end zone is Boston. Touchdown. They made it look easy, didn't they? Yep. And exactly what happened right there, Joe Germain, by not huddling up, forced a little bit of miscommunication from that Hawkeye defense. 54, one of 17, and now it's Stoltz for the extra point. And everybody in Buckeye land is saying, could we didn't have please just done that last week? That's that is not like an Iowa Hawkeye football team. Expecting a short kick. This time they have to back up. It'll be Coel Hill from the six. And not going to make the 20, I don't think. You're going to get booed. Now they fake a pass, and now they go back to the line of scrimmage. And that will expire the first half. A late touchdown throw. Joe Germain to David Boston has given seventh-ranked Ohio State a 14-point lead. We're at intermission. Kinnick Stadium and Iowa City. Our score. Ohio State 28, Iowa 14. Now we send it to Valvoline Halftime 98. John Saunders and Todd Blackledge in New York. Gentlemen, Kenyon Rambo and Jonathan Wells waiting on this kick. And it'll go down to Rambo two yards deep, and he'll bring it out. Penalty markers down. There's going to be an illegal block as Ohio State's going to have to warm up their offense inside their own seven. So this is custom made for Iowa. This is where you'd want the Buckeyes to have to work from to start the second half. And Wiley only got a couple yards. Iowa couldn't do it. Morgan Stanley, Deedon Witter, first half statistics showing what Gary's talking about, the lack of rushing yards. They've already got 342 in offense in one half. Trying to get three more here via the pass, and they do. First down to Wiley. And Barry Alvarez as well, another former Iowa assistant who was undefeated until today. Here's Joe Germain, who again got away from the rush and throws on a run high. Now, this is not going to be a catch, but you know what it's going to be? It's going to be in the highlight film. <laughs> he almost got he his foot He really down. did. Second down at 10. And the inside handoff to Wiley, who bounces his way across the 25. Matt had 13 tackles last year against Iowa, and he's on that kind of pace today. Third down. Germain, pressure. This time he won't get away. And it's Kentman, the inside linebacker, with you to kick. And Khalil Hill is waiting on it. Oops, they're going to blow this one dead. <laughs> Ohio State it's alumni King just King took a big King gasp of air right there. While they walk it off. And here, Iowa trailing by two touchdowns, forcing a punt. Almost had it blocked. Off the side of his foot. It goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Kyle McCann at the control. The inside trap. And a couple of nifty moves back and down in six here. Bowl is in there at the fullback spot now. Dual backfield behind McCann. Drops to throw. And drops to the ground. Katzenmoyer with a sack. Iowa trying not to blow the opportunity here after the short punt. Here comes a blitz. McCann in trouble again. Goes down again. Rodney Bailey. Pressure spot. And the punt. Of a line drive that's going to bounce, and I don't know if that touched, 
bury or not. Better pick it up if you're Iowa. If Iowa, I'd cover it yeah, and I take my it's... chances. Oh, oh man. It's... It didn't touch him apparently. Yeah. Well, second straight start inside the 10 for Ohio State, and it's Montgomery. He's got one long touchdown today, and Joe has been the guy that has sparked. The ones here, Archie Griffin and Ed Polak. That's right. The photo's <laughs> over in the radio booth for Iowa. Here comes Montgomery again. Out across the 20. And Joe's got eight more. He had 100 even on 17 carries against Northwestern. Here he is on the counter, and he's got an opening. Out across the 30 before he's run down. Ohio State, 168 on the ground. Averaging about 198 on the season, so they're well on their way to that. Get on his shoulders now, doesn't he? Second down and eight play fake. Jermaine wanted to go deep. Now comes back over to D. Miller. And D's run out of bounds. I had thrown under pressure. Not only did he hang in, he tried to keep his head on a swivel to see if it was completed or not. He's back to throw again. He got nailed again as he let it go to Boston. And he made a diving catch. Oh, my goodness. At the 11-yard line. By David Boston is an All-American receiver. Oh, that's just artistry. That's pretty. Wiley. And he's dropped, and the ball is loose, and Iowa's got it. Oh, boy. That takes a big play and turns it right back over to the Hawkeyes. It's about Michigan State. We let them hang around, and they thought they could beat us. Giving Iowa that same hope. Here comes a blitz. Down goes the quarterback for the sixth time. The flag down. Yeah, 12 minutes in the huddle. Illegal substitution is going to be the call. And so Iowa's going the wrong way. Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson in Iowa City at the seven-yard line. And coming up, throwing, oh, in and out of the hands. I was going to say complete. Ryan Rock, another one of the unbelievable athletes on that team. Here's a quick opener to Betts. And he got out across the 10 minute. Punting from the end zone. And this one should be returnable from Boston from the 49. And Boston cuts back, reverses field, throws a stiff arm, and now he'll turn it on. David Boston, his second excellent return of the day. That's one investor at a time. Ohio State with a handoff to Joe Montgomery. Broke a couple of tackles, and Joe gets down to the 17. Montgomery, Wisniewski, and Hauser are both in there as Ohio State loads up and goes with a play action. Jermaine just tosses one out to Keller for the touchdown. Oh, man. Third touchdown pass of the day for Jermaine, and Keller made a great grab. Jeff Kramer was right there. Had an opportunity to intercept that ball. Keller just took it right away from him. It's a nice job of getting that ball and then laying out for the touchdown. Extra point is good. It's a third. You just wonder if that took any steam out of Iowa. There's a fair catch called for on the short kick and taken at the 26-yard line. The penalty, they're going to get 15 at least added on here. On the penalty, unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> In motion, Yamini. And the screen, incomplete intended for Khalil Hill. Roughing the passer on Katzenmeyer, too. While we check the penalty, we'll check in with John Saunders. So after the timeout, the Hawkeyes have 11 Hawkeyes out on the field, which is something they didn't have before the break. Toss and around coming. They thought about it. Betts keeps it and slips, and he lost a yard. Second down, 11. McCann, the quick drop, and now throwing the third out here for Casper, and it's incomplete by a mile. And Michigan now for that game next week will have a, what, 16-game Big yes. Ten winning streak going? And the more things change in the Big Ten, the more they stay the same. Right. Right. Third down, 11. I would like to change the down markers here. Captain Moore with a blitz. There's an open man on the sideline, and he just overshot. In Boston, go 27 and 40 yards on returns, I think. This one's going to go out of bounds at about the 14. 35-14, Hayden Fry his 20th season. Trailing seventh ranked Ohio State. And nice hit. Feel bad for Vernon Rollins, who got hurt early last season and has never come back. And he looked like he was on his way to being a great linebacker. Tight end comes over. Hauser switches to the left side. They're going to throw for it. Throw the out. It's complete. It's a first down out to the 29-yard line. Out for the paper, I think. He's afraid of what's going to happen. They work such long hours here. I don't know sometimes 
whether Hayden might hear the uh, doomsayers about the uh, Iowa program. From the 40, first down Ohio State. Here comes a blitz, and it paid off that time. As Jamar Martin is, would be thick pin three, actually, thick pin Hughes and DeVries. Here's a swing pass. Hello. <laughs> LeVar Woods put the wood. They're going to come with a blitz. Jermaine got it away, and he threw a dart to Boston in the open field. And all the way down to the 28-yard line. Gary. Boston gets a breather. Ohio State's inside the Iowa 30 again. Down to the, maybe the final play of the quarter. And it's Martin, the fullback, and he rumbles his way down. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. <laughs> Second down in a yard on the ninth play of the Ohio State drive. And I think they got the first down for Martin. Jermaine off play action. On a slant, that was almost picked off. Oh, it was caught. Now it's skipped. Skipped, yep. And a turnover, a touchdown, and missed a field goal. Here they're going to run the draw to Montgomery. He weaves his way for... Undergoing treatment right now, chemotherapy, and uh, all the players on this football team have dedicated this game. Oh, Bob said, you know, I'd rather come out and tell the whole story so they don't mess it up. And that's what he did this week, and something Hayden Fry's known about since last spring, really. So coaching staff's had a lot on their shoulders this year, and now Ohio State with another three, and I think Ohio State would have been a great representative to play for the Big Ten in a national championship game, and that was his answer to the upset by Michigan State over Ohio State. Out to the 25 on the return. I think this is the superior secondary. Receiver is just as good, but this is the best quarterback Ohio State might have ever had. And of course, Joe Germain for part of that shared. The extra point was missed by Nebraska, by the way, if that's why you're wondering on the score. A fumble picked up. Actually, never was fumbled, bobbled, and now the completion to Yamini. I don't know how McCann held on to that in the NCAA, so we know he can motor. Here comes a blitz. McCann steps into this throw, and that should be interference. Nope, nope, broken up. Of course. So that means their players are a little bit better to start. <laughs> That's right. Third down and four. Here's a draw play, and it works. Going to pick up the first down out near midfield. Glenn Mason was asked about the bowl possibilities for the Gophers, and Glenn said, hey, we've won four stinking balls. That's right. <laughs> and again, they'll try the draw, and this time it's Berger in there. We had over 70,000 here when it began, and uh, maybe half that many right now as Berger goes straight up the middle for the first down. The first major international competition of the season. 4 o'clock Eastern tomorrow on ABC Sports. Long ball, nobody home out there. Trying to see his brothers play as well. Lonzel and J.D. Jr. played at Washington. And Shelby played at uh, Syracuse. Quite a wide receiver family, that's for sure. They shift into an eye backfield behind Kyle McCann. Play action, wanted to go down the middle. Now he's going to try to run for it. He's going to have to hustle. He might get there, though, and he does. Second excellent run of the day, and a flag at the end of that one. Now they're going to tack on a little bit of yards for a face mask. At the 23-yard line, first and 10 for Iowa. Oh. Oops. Broke that tackle, flag down, and McCann got about a yard and a half out of it. Illegal procedure is a call on the penalty against Iowa, and the play looks like it's changed up by McCann. He's going to keep it on the ground, and Betts goes down for a loss. Again, the bear look, 46 defense, check off from McCain. He's got, he's got plenty of time to get to another play. Here comes Blitz for the secondary as well. McCain running for his life and throws. Hill actually made that catch, but in a third down at 16. Here they come again, or getting ready to. They back out of this one a little bit. McCain throws short underneath and inside the 30. Guys, look at their chops again. Nile Diggs, his second sack of the day. And by Burger King, if you ask us, it just tastes better. This one tasted pretty good to the Buckeyes and their fans, I'm sure, after a bad taste left in their mouth from the upset against Michigan State. John doesn't get credit for the competitor. He really is. Oh, he's a fiery yeah, guy. He really is. Second down at seven. Garcia comes up throwing and completes it out to Rambo. Really, when you do that, everyone knows you might not get back on the field. 
Here's his pitch to Wiley. Wiley trying to go wide and yet keep it in bounds, and he does both. Here's does Biner's fumble? And again, the quote by John is 11 and 1 in this day and age, not good enough. Right. There's a completion, first down out of the 40. Garcia took a hit after he let go of that. And that game next Saturday on ABC Sports, you'll see it. As always, a huge one. The Buckeyes and the Wolverines. And most of you watching in this area will see that at 11. It's 12 o'clock Eastern. And here goes Wiley. He's heading east. And it's first and goal, Ohio State. Just inside the 10 yard line. They're going to have another touchdown. Martin on the counter. The fullback goes nine yards for the score. So Keller, the starting fullback, has a touchdown reception. And his replacement, the freshman Jamar Martin, just rumbles nine yards for another. It's in for the point after. Set to become a 31-point game, and it is with 5.09 left in the ball game and Ohio State has got this one in hand Stockdale Hill and Yamini and this kick five yards deep and will be down by beating South Carolina today those are just four of the top five that we can talk about right now and the pass completed with five minutes left out you're going to have some real big schools there with just one loss and who gets to play it? It looks like the winner of the Florida Florida State game will do that. And that's by playing their way back. It's running out of time and opportunities here in a game that is obviously an Ohio State victory upcoming in the next four minutes or so. McCann goes down on a corner blitz. Flying in there with David Mitchell. Yards of negative yardage losses going into this game, and you're going to tack on to that today. Nate Clemens, a return man for the punt, and he took it, didn't fair catch it, broke a couple tackles, broke a third, kept his balance, and Clemens might want to get some time from Boston as a punt return man. He'll get some time for the next three years. They're going to pick There's the flag, no flag up. Got another Ask Gary question coming up after this snap. The Buckeyes will toss it. Good. Jonathan Wells. Oh my God. Wells might take it. Knocked out of bounds, and they do go over 600 yards of offense. They will play 12 games to UCLA's 11, and I think they will go. I think that's a little bit of a crime because UCLA has played five top 25. Remember, Kansas. Second down and 12 here for Ohio State. And back. Close to the line of scrimmage. What happened? Kansas City takes on the well, undefeated Broncos. I live in Detroit. To watch Barry, I'm going to have to pay. It's not on TV. <laughs> to the end zone, incomplete. Uh, Fourth down and 11. Garcia rolling away, trying to throw to the end zone, and his man fell out. His yep. intended receiver slipped on his break. So, file a couple minutes. A little bit of option. Late pitch. And out across the 15 against Scott Marlin, the starting quarterback, broke his collarbone in the early stages of this game after scoring an 11-yard touchdown run. So we wish him the best in his rehab. Here's a pass throw, complete. And a nice move out in the open field after the 33-yard line by Kansas State. They did it. What did I say? First one to 40. And they got to 40, and they called it good ball. Man, it happened to be the clock ended at the same time. So, Until somebody tells me that Kane McDowell is not breathing anymore, I'm going with that guy. In the pocket, it's another sack, eighth of the day. Really, that touchdown just before halftime from Jermaine to Boston on a blown coverage when it went from 21 to 14. The 28 to 14 with 30 seconds left in the half. I can relay donation will be made to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. It's been a Chevrolet tradition for more than a quarter of a century. 11 sacks, game over. That's it. <laughs> I think they took the safety to tell you the truth and gave the ball back to Tennessee. That's that just been their first mistake. <laughs> and now Ohio State almost broke this for another touchdown as John Cooper heads cross field to meet Hayden Fry and. Coach Cooper's team goes to nine and one. Coach Fries, unfortunately, goes to three and seven. And it sets up the big showdown. Six and one in the Big Ten for Ohio State. Unbeaten Michigan in the Big Ten. And that'll be coming up next week. The annual battle is going to mean a trip to the Rose Bowl at State. Here, Ohio State rebounds from their upset loss a week ago. They win it easily. 45-14, the final. The